Completing the Betham water recycling plant would cost taxpayers an additional U.S. $250 million. That's according to Minister of Public Utilities Robert Lahunt. He said close to $1 billion has been spent on the unfinished plant. Speaking to the media at the commissioning of the Savaneta Booster Pump Station on Friday, he said the project may never be completed. If we continue to complete that plant, you were probably talking about spending about $3 billion TT dollars to get an increase in production of water, about 10 million gallons. We feel that we could get 10 million gallons of water by spending far less money, um, we think we could be able to get 10 million gallons of water into the system, as I said, spending more in the vicinity, about 200 million, or even less than that. So we are exploring doing, as I said, it's about doing more with less. He said it was an ill-conceived project. I think that's just a project that the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago just be lost a billion dollars. That's money that could have been that money could have been used in a number of other areas. As I said, well, based on the estimates to complete the project, you have to ask yourself, should I go and spend 250 million US dollars, all right, to spend to get 10 million gallons of water? That, that, is, that is not a very economical um, analysis. In terms of building new reservoirs to increase Wasa's capture of runoff water during the rainy season, Minister Lahunt said his ministry is looking at a project in Ravin Sab which is costly but can increase water storage and help alleviate floods in central Trinidad. The Water and Sewage Authority is owed an estimated $700 million from its customers. That's according to Minister of Public Utilities Robert Lahunt. He said the outstanding money could assist the authority in carrying out its day-to-day -day activities. Minister of Public Utilities Robert Lahunt said if the Water and Sewage Authority was able to collect the arrears for non-payment of bills, it would be able to carry out proper road paving following repairs of leaks or even implement a metering system. You have to collect your money to invest. And if you don't collect your money to invest, it means therefore the government needs to take more money from its own limited coppers to put into it. And when I, when the government needs to put more money there, it means less money for education, it needs less money for health care, it needs less money for social welfare, it needs less money for paying salaries. He said fixing the water problem in Trinidad and Tobago requires a multi-pronged approach. It is not just about producing water. Producing water is one thing, but getting that water to the different areas is also just as important. Getting that water to the extremities is also important. And the work of this particular booster station and the $39 million being spent to put this in place is just one piece of the puzzle. He said storage is also an important component in providing water. Minister Lahunt said the authority has also been able to reduce leaks from its water lines in South Trinidad. I understand that leaks are now gone below 100, 100 leaks, and I think they deserve a round of applause. I have challenged Anand before the end of this month to get that number from 100 down to 75, and he has promised me, Anand, you're going to do that for me? Yes, all right, so you could go back and interview Anand and make sure that he has reached 75 leaks in South Trinidad by the end of this month. He said Wasa has brought down the figure of leaks in North Trinidad from 2,500 to 995 in a four-month period, a figure which he agreed was still too high. Minister Lahunt said the Savanetta facility is a major infrastructural development aimed at improving water pressure management and flow to areas in central and south Trinidad.